Hello and welcome back to the Hermitcraft Mod Source Mod Pack. I'm going to have to lower down that uh, intro <laughs> uh, with me, Trinus. So, uh, last episode I just recently just basically started off and let you know that I was starting this and what my plans were for this episode, uh, plans for this series even when I can talk. Uh, so I've been a little bit busy off camera. I found a few bits and pieces like my... Uh, uh, End sword, as you can see there, which I'm currently dual wielding, uh, and the end of Lily Seas that you can just see to uh, my right uh, as you're facing me, <laughs> obviously. Uh, and I have built such an amazing first starter house, it's unbelievable. Feast your eyes on that. <laughs> uh, so, uh, yeah, I've just done some basic stuff, really. I've got myself a little bit of farm. It's, temporary house as much as I possibly can um, uh, but the main thing I've been concentrating on is getting the uh, the smeltery up and running just so I've got something to double up my ores with without going too much into machinery because like I say I want to do more witchcraft and wizardry sort of mods uh, the biome that I'm in is actually called a lush swamp I believe it is yep a lush swamp uh, only downside about this place is that you get uh, a lot of slimes. Uh, well, I'm saying it's a downside, but uh, we'll, we'll see what we make of it. Uh, I've gone around and lit the area up as much as I possibly could and built this little horrible structure. I'm hoping to move out of soon. Uh, got some tinker tools, as you can see, stone bound with that diamond that I got, and a couple of stone bound tools there. Uh, Currently been using the smeltery just to get my iron up and running. Um, so I'm going to be using that in a minute because I'm going to get this knight's uh, stuff just to upgrade my armor because that's this is all I'm wearing at the moment. Uh, the iron chest plate and the stone boots. Stone boots? Iron boots. <clears throat> so yeah. I've uh, got a few heads as well. A couple of zombie heads and a zombie head and unfortunately I did die so... Uh, on my heads up there, but I kind of like these uh, slime skull heads. Why I get these? Because <laughs> I didn't think slimes had head. I thought they were just one big head. <laughs> but <laughs> who knows? Uh, so uh, I'm gonna do a couple of things. I'm gonna try and get upgrade my armor into this knight stuff. I don't know how good it is. I've never worn it before. Never used it. So. But why not? Uh, I also want to replace my stone sword with a, uh, a ruby sword, which I found, which was cool. So that's easy enough to do, just do that. It's got 8 attack damage, so should be uh, fairly useful, that one. I'm just going to convert all this while I'm here as well, uh, because I know I need a few of these chains uh what you do with these chains is actually make chain armor with these uh let's get that in the right position chain leggings i like this recipe i think it's kind of good uh it really kind of makes sense in a lot of ways uh that's the chain boots and just the helmet now uh which is that's enough isn't it for for that cool uh, take these off. Uh, I also need to make a iron leggings and a helmet. And hopefully, all you do is just combine them. Yes, the knight's helmet just to get them. I don't know if I need to make a new one. No, I don't. Okay, that's fine. It has already taken a bit of durability off that. So, yeah, I'll, I'll still do it. Uh, same with the boot. And lastly, the uh, leggings. I don't like. I say I don't know how good this armor is. Uh, it looks fairly cool at the moment. Well, I've got full, I uh, full armor bars. Let's have a good look outside. Uh, unfortunately, I can't see where I'm going. Uh, a little bit blind with this helmet because it covers up my eyes. <laughs> uh, but yeah, very cool. Uh, so let me just put this sword here as well, and then we should be good to go. Yeah, that's brilliant. 
Right then, so let's get started on a little bit of witchery. Uh, let's put this tool in here. Because I like to keep some of my spare tools just in case. Uh, I need to revert back to them, especially my iron stuff. Could probably get rid of some of the stone things. I really need to try and keep myself more organised in this series. <laughs> and not end up like I did in Beaver. Right, but like I say, let's get started on some witchery. Uh, so, uh, witchery is right down at the bottom. Done a little bit of research. Uh, I'm hoping you guys can help me out as well, especially those that know witchery. Uh, a little bit better than me. I uh, only done a little bit of stuff on it. Uh, I don't know why I've got guns up. But I believe I need to start with a oven of some sort there, the witch's oven. I believe I need this first so I can try and get these Rohan saplings so then I can build an altar. So let's get started with this. Okay, I have got a bucket already, which is nice. What else do I actually need? We'll have to revert back to the recipe a few times because I don't know exactly what I need. Uh, we need one of them. And that goes like that. And then one which is oven. Cool. Ah yes, this looks very familiar from my Yogg's cast complete. Uh, so I need a lower ham sapling now. Uh, Rohan wood. I need a clay jar. Some sort of fuel and coal to make the wood. Is that right? Hmm. Okay, well, only one way to find that. I have got some clay on me. I believe to make the jars is just like a bucket. No? Am I wrong? Yes, I am completely wrong, so let's look up clay jars. Right, okay, that's fine. Completely wrong. <laughs> uh, uh, they don't particularly look like jars for the recipe to make, but hey, what? Then I think that we need to cook these to make them into the clay things. Uh, I am trying to upgrade my uh, smeltery as well, that's why I'm so got these, but I'll do that more off camera because I don't think a lot has actually changed Tinker's Construct smeltery wise because uh, it was already fairly uh, powerful as it is. Actually, it reminded me, I need a hammer, so that's something else I can do. Right, so that's a clay jar, so that's good. Uh, we need some coal. Uh, have I got any coal? I have. Oh, is that all I've got? 14. Ooh, that's not good. Okay, so we need some wood as well. Um, hmm. I don't know if I'm doing this right, because I would have thought I needed to make the sapling. Um, we'll try this anyway. This, it won't hurt. <laughs> he says. Right. Let's put that in there now. If I do, that's not going to work either. I don't think that's quite right. Okay. Um. A quick uh, look. Hmm. Which is rogue. Hmm. Rohan sapling. How do I make Rohan sapling? Uh, just I thought I'd look this up, and I thought that was the way that you did this, but obviously I been misinformed. So give me one minute, and I'll make a cut in the video here, and I'll just have a quick look. So I'll be right back. Right, okay, yes, I have been completely misinformed of what I actually needed. Um, either that or it's just bad, my bad research, which is more than likely. 
case. Uh, so what I actually need is something called Mutandus. Mutandus. So this is the recipe that I actually need to make. Uh, so that means I need to go and plant a mandrake seed, which I have got here. Uh, so I'm just going to knock out just for quickness. I'm gonna have to make another garden or something for just witchery stuff. I'm gonna knock that one out and put that there to let it grow. I'm gonna have to be careful with that thing when it does grow, uh, as you probably already know about those things. They do come alive. Uh, so I need some uh, bone meal, wood ash, cactus green. Excuse me. Um. Hmm, I don't know if I've actually got anything on those sort of lines to make that, which is going to be an absolute bugger. Um, right, well, we can get started on some of the other stuff anyway. So, like this hint of rebirth. Spruce sapling. And that. And I haven't got any spruce saplings. Oh, but it probably needs to be specific. Yes, I remember that now. Um... Yeah, because if I remember rightly in the Yogscast pack, um, I had to really make sure it was completely specific and to the recipe. So it looks like we're off on a little adventure today. I thought I was prepared for this. Obviously, I was wrong, so I do apologise. Uh, so I need to find some cactus and a sapling okay so let's go and try and find these things I don't know where I need to be uh, I can't say I've actually located any of the stuff but we'll head to the flower biome over there and we'll see what we can hopefully find we might find a few other things as well that we can go and investigate while uh, we're here as well we might as well Got plenty of food on us, so we're good on food. Uh, well, we can get red dye anyway. That's a good thing. Um, I don't know if any of these things can help. Uh, giant. F Not one out. I don't know if this thing can actually be used for anything. Oh. Hmm. Not what I'm after. Okay, it's just normal wood that. Okay, that's fine. Oh, hello. There's one of those things anyway, so hopefully this episode won't be a complete and utter waste of time and a loss. I'll try and get myself a little bit more prepared. Um, but I will hopefully. Right, this time. I like these things. Oops, get the other one. Right. What we got in here? A couple of enderpearls, ender lily seeds, a uh, botania book, a man of steel. Name tag and a bit of wheat. Not too bad of a find. I'm fairly pleased with that. Will you go back into my inventory, please? Thank you. And then also, if you want, don't forget the arrows. Okay, so. That looks like a spruce tree, if I'm not mistaken. That's kind of cool. Oh, I do miss the ability to fly. Because <laughs> uh, if you remember in the Bevo Tech, I had the ability of the wing. Which uh, I think are in this mod pack. I would be very surprised if they are not. So let's have a quick look. Just get rid of that. <laughs> Wings, they are in D plus the high riders. Uh, so that's cool. I can probably do that later. Well, much, much later. <laughs> Ouch, I need a nether star to get anywhere with that. Okay, so we can jump down this tree. Also, I need to make myself a lumber axe as well. when that happens. Right, 
right, I'm going to knock down a couple of these trees so I've got saplings to grow up back at my base as well. Sort us out seven saplings, more than enough. So we need to also try and find some cactus as well. Uh, anything on the mini map indicate a desert or something? Oops, wrong key. Sorry about that. Always want to press escape to actually get out of that menu. It's not escape. It's the actual. X key on my keyboard. I believe it is fault for most people. No sugar canes here. They won't go miss while I'm out and about. Oh, okay. Now, these things are very bad, but also absolutely brilliant because. Last time I went into one of these, they had Enderman spawners in them, proper Enderman spawners. But I don't really think I'm that well prepared. Uh, or seeds, I don't want seeds. See if we can't get over there and have a quick look just to. Check on if I'm just typical. I find these iron bars now, but I've just crafted some. Also, have to be careful because mobs do spawn out of these gravestones as well. I can hear a villager. Oh no, it's these hobgoblins. Hello. Aha. Boom. I think we can actually trade with these guys, can we not? No, but we could trade with them. No. Alright, fair enough. Uh, <laughs> we're kind of cool. Oh, someone was well liked. That looks like a diamond gravestone. Uh, but obviously down here, darkness is coming. Uh, one of the worst things out is that going into these things is making it dark as soon as walk in. Uh, you see that the sun has already set. Uh, <laughs> uh, so these guys are not pleasant places to be at all. Uh, but see if I can have a quick nosy in for you while we're here. Uh, that's a skeleton spawner and that's a zombie. Ow. Where's my sword? There we are. That's a skeletal dog. I don't think I've ever seen a skeletal dog before. Okay. Uh, I'll swap my torches around. Uh, yeah, hello creeper. Uh, yes, I did turn mob spawning off just to be on the safe side. We've got in here anyway. Anything of interest? Nether warp and iron. I don't know if I'm really that bothered about. Oh, crud. <laughs> this is not a good place to be. Oh. This is the skeleton spawn. Preferably. I don't know if I can actually pick them up or not. Uh, right, I hope it's not too dark. Oh crap. Yep, time to leave. Time to leave. Excuse me. Excuse me. That's a zombie cat. Okay, time to do a strategic retreat. It's not a cowardly really retreat in any shape or form. It's just a strategic one. As you can see, it's now completely night, uh, so <laughs> I need to get a bit more well prepared for that. 
Right, okay, so the search for cactus. <laughs> That's such, right. Uh, any, I need to mark that as well. Uh, can I do a mini map, please? Thank you very much. No waypoint. Uh, darkness. Um, it's not exactly in the right spot, but it's close enough for me. I'll be able to know what it's for. Hopefully, I will remember. Oh, oh volcano. Oh, no, wrong keys again. Hmm. Very cool looking volcanoes. Can't see any deserts. Um. No, so that means I'm going to have to go look for one off camera, I think. So, uh, sorry this episode hasn't turned out the way I planned, uh, but I thought I was a little bit more prepared than what I obviously wasn't. Um, so I think I'm going to end this episode here if I don't die. Let me try and get home. Uh, this will be a... Yeah. Not necessarily a pain, but shouldn't be get home and then I will end the episode as soon as I get home. What poison me? I'll probably uh, ivy, poison ivy. Just I guess the world wasn't bad enough. A couple of zombies tracking me. Wonderful. Oh, wonderful one. I might swim faster. <laughs> and I'll try and get home as quickly as I can. Oh, home again, home again, home again, home again. So yes, I'm going to end the episode here. Uh, like I say, I do apologise that this hasn't really gone to plan, but I uh, hope you enjoyed it nonetheless. If you did, please remember to hit that like button. And if you know more about this mod, please do let me know in the comment section. And any other advice or feedback that you'd like to give, uh, please do feel free to add that as well. But until next time, I'm hoping I'm going to be more prepared for it. Thank you very much for joining me. Bye. -bye.